Kings of Leon's new album as an NFT, and Brave Browser acquires Search Engine. What's going on guys, Randy here with another Daily Crypto video. If you guys like Daily Crypto content, be sure to smash the like button and follow the channel. All right, so Kings of Leon uh, is getting ready to put out a new album and they're going to be the first ones to do it in this kind of way, which is make their album as an NFT, a non-fungible token. Pretty cool stuff there coming from Kings of Leon, one of the bands that have has been around since the early 2000s and has just stood the test of time putting out new good music every few years and, and here they are jumping into the nft world so kings of leon will release their new album as a non-fungible token nft becoming the first rock band to do so in addition to the conventional release of course they'll have uh, their music on spotify and apple music and uh amazon and uh all the the normal outlets but the the album is going to be released as an NFT form with Yellowheart, it, and that's a blockchain-based music platform that and uh, that Rolling Stone reported Wednesday. The new album, When You See Yourself, will be delivered as three different types of tokens. The first, a special album package. The second, offering live show perks and the third, containing exclusive audiovisual art. Albums put out as NFTs have generally been the realm of DJs like 3LAU, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but anyway, 3LAU, and have seen prior releases. But the Kings of Leon are the first to launch a new album on blockchain-based format. Yellowheart is also minting 18 golden tickets, which unlock actual front row concert tickets at every Kings of Leon tour for life as part of the NFT release which is incredible. I, you know, I would have figured maybe for the upcoming tour, but this is for life. 18 golden tickets, which I'm sure this is going to fetch a nice price, but 18 golden tickets for life in the front row. The band will auction six of these with the remaining 12 to be vaulted, much like rare pieces of art. Each one of those is a unique NFT with the most incredible Kings of Leon art you've ever seen. Yellowheart CEO Josh Katz says, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Kings of Leon, uh, big fan myself. Yeah, pretty cool that they're going to be putting this new album out uh, called When You See Yourself uh, as an NFT. I'll be looking forward to see what that's going to fetch in, in price. But yeah, I'll also keep you updated with that once I hear information. And then next up, so Brave, the Brave Browser with their native token, basic attention token. So Brave acquires search engine in bid to offer alternative to Google search. According to the announcement, Talcat will serve as a, a, as a foundation for the upcoming Brave Search, an inbuilt search engine designed to enable private and transparent web surfing. Brave CEO and co-founder Brendan, Brandon, uh, Brendan Ike told Cointelegraph that the firm expects to produce uh, Brave Search by summer of 2021. Brave is now working on integrating this technology and making it available to all as Brave Search, first via early access for testers and then for general, general availability by the summer, Ike said. So right now, Brave offers, you know, the, the, the normal Google search, DuckDuckGo, but the problem is it's not too private. I mean, DuckDuckGo is definitely more uh, privacy focused than, than Google search is, but this new uh, Talcat purchase is going to make it so it's very anonymous. So in contrast, Talcat is built on top of com a completely independent index and does not collect IP addresses or personal data to improve search results. Ike stated that Talcat developers have been working on privacy preserving search the last seven years while at clicks and then on the Talcat project after the clicks closure. So yeah, Pretty cool stuff there for Brave. I use Brave. I love Brave. Uh, I think it's a, a great product. You know, you, you earn basic attention token when you when you click and view ads. So, uh, and they're completely secure, anonymous browser, you know. And now, and now they're going to have a search engine to go along with that. 
So the new announcement comes shortly after Brave recorded a major milestone in its browser adoption, doubling its active user base from 11 million monthly users to over 26 million. In late February, Brave released its BAT Roadmap 2.0, announcing the company's plans to explore the utility of its basic attention token for search engines. As part of the roadmap, the firm is also working on a DEX aggregator and NFT functionality. So yeah, you know, that's all I have for you guys today. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the Kings of Leon putting their album on as an as an NFT? Do you think it's do you think other rock bands are gonna follow in their footsteps or maybe hip hop artists or country artists? Do you think that Kings of Leon is starting a trend? Me personally, I, th I think it is, especially if it fetches a ton of money, which I suspect it will, and other groups will, will follow. So let me know down in the comments what you think. If you guys like daily crypto content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also one last thing, if you guys like or if you guys need a free website for your business or personal, let me know. I design them for free. All you have to do is cover hosting. And there's a link down below in the description. I'll see you guys tomorrow.